Cross something no. The cost of opportunities is always good to know. But if you know that, then you're good to go. Yeah. No dreams too big. Chase anything, got the passion to do. Only a dream till it happens to you. Finally see money now. What's up, everybody? Kevin Van Voorhis here for another video for you today. So real quick, I want to give a shout out to uh, all these people who ordered over the weekend. So from ContagiousAthletics.com. So shout out to you guys for supporting. So shout out to Justin DeBold, Mike Labarge, Kenny Lito, Jim Eaton on Canada, Jordan Stillwagon, Alex Striff Kirk. I probably just butchered that. And Tracy Turner. So shout out to you guys for ordering from ContagionAthletics.com. Um, it's just our clothing lifestyle brand that we own. So we appreciate you guys ordering. And then uh, also, before I keep forgetting in every video, we've had it for like a week and David keeps getting mad at me. Uh, we did launch VanVorsGarage.com. And it's basically where you can just buy posters of all the... Uh, photography that david does so all the pictures i post on my instagram or on david's instagram you guys can actually go buy a poster and if you guys want us to sign it or whatever we'll sign it um really cool photos david's a really good photographer i can't do any of that stuff i'm just the guy driving the car so uh david wanted to make a little website for you guys because you guys keep asking us if you guys can buy posters and we didn't really think about that so we made our own website david made the website David did all that stuff. So if you guys want to check it out, vanborsgarage.com. Check it out. Anyways, let's get into today's video. All right, let's get the track hawk started up since this is a track hawk video. All right, so it's Monday. No one's made a video about this surprisingly, but I'm really the only YouTuber on Instagram who, or on Instagram, wow. YouTuber who's uh, worked with Livernoy. So we're gonna make a video about it today. If you guys don't know Livernoy Motorsports, which is the company that uh, made my Paisley cat go from normal cat to extremely ridiculous Hellcat. Um, now, I'm gonna do a full video on what I think of them as not just a company, but as far as like how they uh, tune the cars and do a full overview on a different video um, because I want to wait till I run my car at the track uh, first before I do like a full review on it but if you guys don't know Livernoy Motorsports has been in the game for a while they have some fast Hellcats and now they have the world's fastest track hawks over the weekend they've been doing some testing um, as you guys know, if you guys look up their website, you can type in Livernoy Motorsports and you can see what different type of packages they offer for the Hellcats. And basically, they're doing the exact same thing with the Trackhawks. So, they did some testing over the weekend, got into the 10s, and they made a, com a comment saying, let's see if we can get into the 9s today. No fucking way. They actually ran a 996, I believe, or 997. But, uh... It's crazy to think that you can take an SUV that's comfortable, big, has all the amenities, and go run a 9.9 at the drag strip. What in the actual fuck is going on in the world? I mean, talk about a time, what a time to be alive. Whether you guys like Mustangs, Camaros, or Corvettes, or your Dodge guy, or whatever. I mean, how crazy is it that you can take your SUV, which this runs up in Detroit, I think people are running about 11.2, 11.3, and get down to a 9.9 with about 10, maybe 11,000 bucks. I think that's I think that's what their packages run, uh, depending on which package you want to get. I think that I think because I think the uh, I think it's their S1050 or some package like that. I think it's about 10 grand. Um, now I don't know how. The only thing that I I'm like. Concerned, not concerned, but like, do I want to tune this? Eh, I don't know. I mean, Andy at Livernoy has been be like, you gonna send me that Jeep or what? So it's not that I won't ever do it, but right now I'm not going to. I want to see what more testing and all that stuff does to these Trackhawks. The only thing that I'm like, I guess, curious about, not concerned, but curious about is the T cases in this. This is all wheel drive, right? So. 
I'm curious to see how much horsepower that those can hold up. Now, as far as how much horsepower they're making, I think, don't quote me on this, I think that they were getting like seven something to all four wheels. That's stupid. That is the dumbest shit ever. 700 and some odd horsepower to the wheels. I think stock, these are making like 580, I wanna say. I'll have to look up on the actual Livernoy website, but that's not what this video is about. This video is about them running a nine. How crazy is that? I mean, you literally can go buy this car. I mean, obviously it's like 89 to 100, 105,000, depending on how you do it. But if you paid for that car, another 10,000 bucks shouldn't be that much for you. Like if you bought this car, you shouldn't be able to be like, oh man, I can't, I can't put 10 grand into it because I really can't afford it. Uh, most people who are buying these usually have another car or multiple cars. So, but how, how cool is that? You know, living on motorsports, which I fuck with, they're my people. They're the shop that I use and the shop that I will continue to use. Um, running nines. I mean, what the hell? <laughs> Oh man, I mean, I how cool of a job would that be? Just to be able to like sit at your desk. All right, cool. Today we're gonna do some track hog testing. Uh, we're gonna throw on the E85 package and change out the fuel pumps and all this good stuff. We're gonna go see if we can run some nines. Like, how cool of a job would that be? So it's just crazy. Um, it, you know, it's it's not just crazy that these are fast from the factory, but it's crazy how much Dodge or FCA or whatever you want to call it how much room they left kind of for you to kind of expand on the power that they already given you. Um, Cause the fuel pumps are good. Like on the Hellcat, the fuel pumps are good till about eight, 820 to the wheel, maybe 840 to the wheel. Um, obviously after that you need to upgrade, but you're talking 200, almost 200 horsepower over stock. Cause they don't make 700 to the wheels. They make 700 to the crank. So I think to the wheels, um, I think me and Dave were 640. So yeah, about 200 horsepower. My fuel pump was, was good too. Good till. And, uh, you know, the injectors, unless you're going to run E85, you know, they're pretty good for a decent amount. So decent amount of power it's just crazy man it's crazy the world we live in so i'm gonna run a few clips real quick So these are the few clips that you guys just saw. I mean, holy shit, those things are moving. And then on that nine second pass, did you see where it got a little squirrely? How, I mean, whew, this is already like quick enough off the line. I can't imagine adding another 200, 240 more horsepower to this car. I mean, talk about fucking scary. Like you could just pull up literally to almost anybody normal driving and since it's all-wheel drive you could murk everybody whether it's from a roll or a dig you could literally just murk everybody i mean i'd be rolling around flipping everybody off <laughs> I, would, I would literally just be racing everyone so i guess the question is am i gonna do that to this car i'm not gonna sit here and say that i'm not gonna fix this car up because every car that i've had i've done something to so i'm not gonna sit here and say that i'm not gonna do something to it uh, I'm not gonna do anything to it right now, like today or this week. However, after this week, I really don't know. Uh, that's just way too far in advance for me and I kind of live week to week. So uh, anyways, 
I just want to make a short video. Shout out Living on Motorsports since you know they're the shop that I use and they're doing amazing things over there. And I don't think they get as much credit as they should. And if you guys are looking for a shop, I would definitely hit them up. Great people over there. Dan is awesome. Andy is awesome. And all the guys who are working over there in the shop and in the front office, those guys are awesome. Trust me. I went all the way, I flew, or I flew. I drove all the way up there in my car. Got to see their entire shop. It's crazy. It, it, you shouldn't even call it a shop. It's like, a, I, don't, I don't even know what you would call it. But their facility is crazy. I made a video a while ago. If you just type in uh, like Livernoy Motorsports Tour or something like that, it should come up. Or you can always search my channel. Uh, it was probably about six or six months ago, maybe. I think. Maybe not as long. So I don't know. But those guys are doing crazy things over there. And uh, they are killing the Trackhawk game right now. So. And obviously my car is running real, real good, but we gotta make, we'll make a separate video on that. But if you guys have a Trackhawk, you can ship your car to them. Um, they actually have a pickup service. So say you don't trust somebody to ship it, like they shipped my charger back for me. They have their own uh, transport service that they use. It's their own truck and their own trailer. So they do everything in house, which is cool. Um, you can use different company, but I just, I just felt more comfortable paying a little bit more money and using their service. Real cool guys. They're very informative. You can ask them anything and they have the answer. They're not going to sit there and be like, mm, let me think about that. They know the answer right away. And they're just trying to make you give you a fast, but a reliable car. And that's the biggest thing when I was looking in my chargers, I want something that's real, you know, that I can go to the track, put down some really good times, roll them around town, merc some people, but still be able to daily drive it. And that's basically what they gave me. So I'm real excited. Um, I'm gonna continue to work with them and uh, those guys are great up there. And I just, I don't think they get as much credit as they should. And I'm hoping with this uh, track hawk stuff that they're doing that they get, you know, a lot more uh, Dodge business. Cause they do a lot of Chevy and Ford and they do do a lot of Dodge, but um, you know, they're stuck their Hellcat that they have was running like a 9.8 on 20 inch drag radials. That's fucking fast. And I think the fastest that they've got without nitrous was like a 9.2, I wanna say. Uh, and they said there's still left, <laughs> there's still room to do more tuning. So that's pretty fucking intense doing all that stuff. But uh, anyways, I just wanna give them a shout out. They're doing crazy work. So if you guys wanna go tune your whatever you have whether it's a track hawk or a charger or any type of car i'm telling you just hit them up and let them prove to them let them prove themselves but don't take my word for it call them up call up andy tell my sent you tell my sent you call andy ricketts okay i think his extension's 105 leave him a message because he's usually pretty busy and i'm guaranteed talk to him and tell me i'm wrong these guys are amazing. So hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. Let me know what you guys think of a Trackhawk running nines. How stupid is that? I think it's awesome, but God damn, that's incredible. Anyways, my name is Kevin Van Boris. Thank you guys for watching today's video. Make sure you guys are following me at CaliBoyKev on Instagram and on Snapchat. And don't worry, the next video I post will be the new wheels on the Trackhawk. Oh, they look so good. I wish I could show you guys right now, but I'm gonna show you in the next video. So anyways, my name is Kevin Van Boris. Livernoise Motorsports is killing the game with these nine-second track hawks, and I'm out this bitch.